Hmm, I was going to make two videos, but it seems I don't have enough to split them, oh well, here goes. First off, I want to talk about feminism, and why I left the group, but not the cause. I used to be a feminist until fairly recently. I believe that all humans are created equal. And therefore I want equality in the world. This is why I became a feminist, because I thought that equality was the main focus here. But I guess I misjudged the book by its cover. I still believe in and strive for equality, I just don't want to do it as part of this group. There is nothing wrong with feminism, but feminists, in a derogatory tone saying that men are pigs, men are scum, men should die etc., is wrong. Feminism is important and has a place in the world, but there is no place in the world for things like this. That is not empowering, that is hateful. My question is, why? You are basically saying you don't want me here, that there is no place for me here. And this is becoming way too common. It's like heading back to 1950, but with roles reversed. Obviously women are angry, women are resentful because of the past. But is it fair to punish the son for the sins of the father? The Bible says it is. I'm not fine with that. That's not fair, but life's not fair, so who cares? Is life worth living if you are hated? All over social media feminists are spreading hate towards men, and that pushed me away. For the second part, I want to talk about the same thing, but in a different context. I support equality between the races, as much as I support equality between the genders. But something has been bothering me lately. I see more and more black people being included in films where the character was originally white. And this is important to create immersion between races. But the motives behind the movement are obviously not for equality, because if you wanted true equality, you would also put a white person in a show with an all-black slash mostly black cast. My focus here is to put emphasis on the fact that it is important to paint a homogenous picture on screen, as seen in reality. Not all white people are rich, or even middle class. Not all white people are racist. White and black live among each other, and I don't fully see that on screen. It's because the focus is in the wrong place. On many occasions I find myself enjoying a show with mostly black cast members. But that all runs dry when I ask the question, where are all the white folks at? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something wrong with me, or maybe it's because I grew up with, and worked closely with the rural black community. So it would be nice to see that one white guy in the show and relate to him. Like Token from South Park, only in reverse. This would show that we live together in harmony, and not try so hard or force it on us. I am an ally to the black community, don't hate me. Once again it seems the sins of the father falls upon the shoulders of the son. This puts a lot of sins on a lot of people who really don't deserve it. Over the years I have made a few dozen black friends. This was only possible because they accepted me. They have not made peace with the past completely, I can sense it, but they have accepted me nonetheless. I was accepted into the group and therefore I felt at ease to befriend them. But this is not the case with all black people. Some black people hate white people and share this opinion openly on social media. This pushes a person away in fear that all black people are like this, making it harder to get to know a black person, and befriend them. You think every black person feels the same way about you as the man in the media. This makes it hard to approach and befriend a stranger. It all starts with forgiveness and acceptance. And then becoming friends is easy. It gets to a point where you would be invited for lunch by a friend and you won't even realize that you are the only white person at the table. I want to be included, but it is difficult when you are not forgiven and accepted. 
forgiveness of the past generation, and acceptance of the new generation of white people into your flock. The hate towards white people drives a person away. It turns a white person into the thing that black people hate. It turns white people into racists because they are constantly pushed away and never accepted. And all of this can go away, instantly, just by forgiving and accepting. Bye guys, and thanks for watching.